Good morning, world. Welcome to episode 143, which is the I love you number. If you guys didn't know that story, Angie and I heard it a long time ago. I don't know who sings the songs or anything, but somebody was using 143 as I love you. So I, one, love is four, three is you, right? So 143. We used to send that to each other all the time. So like at work and all, we just hit 143 or at the end of a message, we'd hit 143. I know, cute, right? Anyway, um enough with the cuteness this morning what the hell anyway <laughs> we are home uh at least today and tomorrow friday we're gonna leave we're headed to uh the rivers so we're gonna hang out with uh, brian and christina all weekend and uh, we'll be back on monday sometime i think or Sunday, Sunday or Monday, we'll be back in that time frame. But you can go on the adventure with us. We've never been, so it should be interesting. Mama doesn't like the cold. That should make it extra interesting. I am curious to see how this weekend turns out. But until then, we need to knock out some work, get caught up on everything since we've been gone, and then maybe we can settle in for about four or five weeks and uh, really get some stuff done before we head off on our great summer adventure. But first, before all of that, I'm gonna need some coffee. Let's go get some of that. Installation, six weeks, lifetime warranty. So Financing is bad. Here's the thing. That lifetime warranty transfers when you sell. Comes Reese up beside Windows. our Jeep and literally. <laughs> Well, you saw Angie's little interesting blurb there. So that truck, like all the way, we were following him like all along and just leaving clouds. Like it looked like shit was on fire behind this truck. That's how bad it was. And then we finally get past the dude and he pulls up to the light there, pulls up right beside us and then power breaks it. Just, I mean, just putting us in a cloud of black smoke. And I'll be honest, guys, it was so hard for me to contain myself. Um, like I told Angie, I said, he's lucky he didn't come up with slit tires. I was close enough. I could have just reached out the Jeep and flattened his tires. And I always carry a pocket knife. So, <laughs> that close. That fucking close. Um, what a prick, man. Life is too short to be a fucking prick. But he was a prick. Um, let me say that again. He was a prick. I'll run into him again one day. I will. I will. I know I will. That's just the way it is. Karma. Karma is a bitch. But anyway, we were headed to get ice cream or Jeremiah's for Mama Badger's birthday. Still celebrating Mama Badger's birthday. We didn't go last night because we were so full from the meal we had. So tonight we went to Jeremiah's. We had some ice cream, hung out with Nerdy Badger, and had a great time. But today's video so you know we've been talking about the wrecked rider fund a lot and different ways that uh we can raise money for it so we have a couple other ways um that uh we haven't told you guys about yet because they're pretty new first off is our our merch so we have decided that all our merch all badger merchandise across all platforms if you buy any badger merchandise all the profits from it will go to help direct riders. So we will no longer take any profits from that. Just the cost or whatever the material costs us, everything else goes as a donation to help wreck riders. That's one way. Second way, have you guys on Facebook seen where for your birthday you can have a fundraiser? So for my birthday, I have XYZ fundraiser and I'm raising $200 for the cost. Have you seen those? Angie just did one for support bikers. Well, we have been approved by Facebook for that. So this is something you guys can do if you want on your birthday. If you're going to do a birthday fundraiser, um, you can go on Facebook and say, I want Support Bikers Inc. to be the recipient. Um, and that'll be, of course, for the Wrecked Rider Fund. Because here's the truth, guys. Um, there are tons of great causes out there, right? There are, there are animals, there are cancer, there are veterans, there are, there are just a million diabetes, March of Dimes, a million of them, right? Here's the problem. Only 3% of the entire world are bikers. That 3% are pretty much the only 3% that give a shit what happens to any of us bikers. 
They're the only ones that are going to do the poker runs. They're the only ones that are going to donate to, you know, the support of bikers. They're the only ones that are going to donate monthly to the Wrecked Rider Fund. And they're who we call on when somebody's had an accident or needs help. Just the 3%. There's 97% of other people to cover all the other charities. But only 3% to cover biker charities um, and uh, that isn't a real big number so hopefully we can put some kind of dent in that right hopefully we can help support bikers we can help support wrecked riders and uh, we're just trying to think of every possible way for it to benefit everybody right benefit businesses benefit riders benefit bikers benefit wrecked riders benefit their families whatever we can do to help. So these are just a couple more ways um, to do that. So that's it guys, that's it. We spent the entire day working our tails off. Well, Mama Badger took off for a couple hours today. She went to Neve's school. It was like field day for Neve's school, right? And uh, guess what? None of the parents volunteered to help. So Mama Badger went in to help. They tried to get me to go in to help, but like I told them, I would have been on the 6 o'clock news as gentleman thumps fourth grader and head and shows no remorse. That would have been me. So probably not a good idea to have me go to the school. Um, I already traumatized them when we had this old like treasure chest looking thing and she needed it delivered she's going to put games in it at our school and so i delivered it right and i'm carrying this big chest in and all these kids are like what's in the chest what's in the chest so i said it's a dead body <laughs> neve will not let me live that down i'm sure i traumatized a couple of her kids by saying that but it was just what popped into my head i should not be allowed be around small impressionable children not if their parents want them to be what they want them to be because I have a totally different outlook on life and uh, it's the way I raise my kids and that's the way I live my life and uh, you know I'm not going to change it for anybody I don't care if it's politically correct politically correct or not it's the way I do things anywho now I'm rambling all right guys that's it the end we will see you all tomorrow